is Samina Sheikh here on Zoom channel and with me today I have one of the fabulous wives Bhavna Pandey so join me as I welcome her only on Zoom Hi how are you I'm I'm good it's like a Monday morning and you know having you right by my side on time it's lovely to have you but I must say that you're really making a dhammal this Diwali with your show how does it feel um yeah it's been amazing we are um, so humble so grateful because um, it's just been amazing and the response has been so good there's a lot of love coming our way and now we're in season 3 so didn't expect to come so far with so much love and um, just just too grateful for everything yeah. yeah and i must say that you know as work keeps you busy this time you have also been noticed for a very special occasion while doing bollywood vibes which was about the karwa chauth you know entire reels <laughs> yeah. and we really love that you know yeah. i really want to know and you you know for years we have been seeing like you know all of you all have been coming together you know praying together how yeah. it has been for you no i mean uh, karwa chauth is something which is very special to me i have been keeping it every single year uh, since i got married actually from one year even before i got married so I was engaged to Chunky, so I literally started from then, and I remember that year I'd broken uh, the fast uh, Tara Dekhe. You know, they say when you're not married, you have to see the Tara and break the fast. That's what I had done, and after that, besides the two years that I was pregnant, once with Ananya and then once with Raisa, those two years I didn't keep it properly. I still kept half half, but I didn't keep it like without water and whatever. Otherwise, I've kept it every year, yeah. and I enjoy keeping the fast. You know, like. Uh, Uh, there's always a talk and you hear that you know it's like kind of regressive and things like that but i feel like you know i do it out of choice no one has forced me to keep it mm. and um, i love doing it i love to show my love to chunky that one day in the year because the 364 days then he's showing me love yeah. so kafi theek hai it's quite balanced yeah. <laughs> it was quite a mama mia kind of a moment when uh, this time like when you were trying to do the karwa chauth and suddenly it was not him it was boni kapoor and we all are talking about it it's going viral everywhere you know what that happened a few years back mm-hmm. and uh, we we go to uh, sunita kapoor uh, anil kapoor's wife uh, her house every year and it's so much fun all of us like kind of pray together and then we chill and pass time till the moon comes out then we all go on her uh, terrace mm. and then you know we are literally like in a line you know all of us all the ladies because we are all dying to see the moon ab ek ek karke wait karenge to fir bahut time lag jayega so we all just stand in a line together and everyone's in a rush so chunky was standing behind me you know i'd set the channi and put the diya and everything so first you're supposed to look at the moon and then turn around mm. and look at your husband right yes. So I I don't know what happened because it was I think behind the clouds the moon so it was still taking four five minutes. So वो चार पांच मिनट में चंकी पता नहीं फोन कॉल लेने गया या maybe went to the bathroom which he loves going to all the time. And I and that moment the moon came out I quickly turned and uh, Boni was standing there and I was like oh my god I quickly turned back and it, it was quite a funny thing we all laughed about it later yeah. including Boni and it was uh, quite a funny thing. <laughs> But coming to Chunky sir, also you know, I mean, he has been known for his work, you know, and he's done such fabulous, you know, movies also. In some, he's played like even vindictive characters. In some, funny characters. Yeah. In some, are romantic actually. Yeah. And over the years, we have seen him, you know, reviving, you know, every single time. You have had a long journey with him. If you had to change one thing about him, and if you had to like accept one thing which you really love about him and adore about him, which one would it be and why? I think uh, the only thing I would like to change about him which I try every single day till now and it doesn't work he loves to roam in the house in a towel and we are like all the time telling him Ananya Raisa me all three of us like you know chunky wear some clothes but he just I think he was a bachelor for so long he got married much I mean quite late in his life today it's not considered late but mm. in those days it was he was like 35 When, so he had been a bachelor till 35 yeah. so he was very used to you know being on his own and roam around in the tal but he still doesn't listen so i wish i could change that and one more thing and then when he does finally change into clothes he leaves a wet towel on my side of the bed oh. so these are the two things i'd like to change about him and um, what is the what is, what is that i appreciate yeah, yeah. yeah what i love about chunky is that he is very he's always been extremely unaffected you know in the sense he's been extremely successful 
he had a low phase then of course he got into character roles and pasta became a hit and suddenly he akri pasta became a hit i'm saying pasta akri pasta became a hit and suddenly he had these kids fans again so through his ups and downs like i've now been with him for almost 27 28 years i have never seen him bring any kind of you know um unhappiness or you know when you're not uh, when you're a little disillusioned or frustrated with work but i've never seen him bring it back home mm-hmm. and you know inflict it on me or the kids ever and he's always smiling and joking and um, making things light you know which is what i love about him that's yeah. very interesting also i yeah. must say that you know to control yourself yeah. you know in a phase when you're going through ups and yeah. downs and i'm sure like it's not that easy like especially now you know we really like kind of keep on taking help you know yeah. like we need a mental help we need a physical help and yeah. all that happens now that brings to a very important conversation which is about ananya pandey starting a campaign you know and yeah. it's like a proper so positive campaign if you had to share some you know light on that especially like right now i feel people who wish to like even if they're not going through something you know which is mentally concerning people just want to go and talk it out do you feel that you know that is a need of the hour in the chaotic world which we live in see uh, of course it is you know see uh, ananya uh, is born in the times and in the generation where social media is like like our you know our any body part literally because you know what whatever we do there's no escaping from social media you may like block things you may like delete the apps but still it is there and whether you are seeing it or not it is for the world to see you know so and sometimes also what happens is if you choose not to see certain things some other people will send you something or tell you oh i heard this or i read that so there is genuinely no escaping how much ever you try mm-hmm. so i think she's from that generation and when she started so positive it was very related to social media and you know the kind of like you know comments and stuff that came and and she saw it around her it was not just her of course there it was about her as well but she also saw it with her friends her younger sister her younger sister's friends you know but you know there were a lot of like comments which were affecting their mind mm-hmm. so that's the reason she started so positive when she started but i think it's become like a wider conversation today i think it's become more about you know just being kind because everyone is going through their own issues and problems however big or small you know there so i think it's just a, a conversation starter that it's okay to take help when you need it it's better you talk to someone and especially someone you trust your family your close friends or professionally whatever works for you it's very important to do it because you know what it's a hard world out there you know and it's a tough world and i think we all just need to be kind to each other i think that's what mainly the conversation is about and i'm very proud of her that she started something like this mm-hmm. and i think um, you know it kind of even if she can you know help you know maybe 10% of the young girls out there i think or boys young girls or boys uh, i think she's achieved what she's headed out for and yeah. that reminds me of one more initiative which you both have done and i feel like there is a jugalbandi you know mothers and daughters have after point mm-hmm. the friendship which you know they share and the jugalbandi here is the outfits were decided by you the entire wardrobe you know for your show recently one i really want to know more about that you know how did you plan how did for you execute show? for the show yes oh no so for the show we had a uh, uh, professional help obviously uh, i had mohit rai and his team so his main assistant tarang they looked after my wardrobe i was very clear what i wanted to wear um and i i said i wanted a little more you know i don't usually i mean now after this show i have literally started dressing in suits but that was not my f- feel of the fashion or look of the fashion but i enjoyed it so much this season that i've actually incorporated it in my personal life i was more like a dress person dresses and jeans and t-shirts but i think i'm just enjoying these blazer suits i know it's not always the best for the uh, weather mm-hmm. but i like it it's fun Yeah. Now also as we talk about social media and about you know online dating and all off late you know we do get to see love bombing hosting you know different different terms to it. Yeah. Um if in the current generation you know if you had to speak about love what do you feel is lacking and what do you feel is there which should ideally you know be there you know consistent. I think uh, when I see the youngster today to uh, youngsters today what I feel is lacking is I think sometimes it's patience you know. I I think uh, a a long term relationship whether it's marriage or even a long term you know just love relationship or even in friendship 
I think um, tolerance, patience and tolerance in the right way. I'm not saying like you tolerate all the crap that is happening. None of us have done it even in our generation, at least me and my friends, whatever I know. Mm-hmm. But I I think patience is something. I think they they are very quick to like kind of give up and sort of move on, you know, yeah. which I guess works for them today. You know, it's very different for me to sit here and, you know, say this and but I I think life is very different today. It's not how it used to be in our times. They're exposed way more. You know, they understand uh, what they want way more. Like I got married at 23 and uh, my personality was still being made, you know. And, and the thing is that, you know, so there was a lot of adjustment required because you're suddenly, you know, living with another person in his environment. Um, so there was a lot of adjustment from both both sides. He, he also, as I said, has been was had been a bachelor. So I think like maybe that, but you know, honestly, each to their own because life is different, times are different. We grew up in much simpler times, you know. So it's very different now. You yeah. got married as a Gen Z. I must say that. <laughs> no, I was. Yeah. I think what are they called? Uh, the seventies born boomers. What are they? Yeah, right now they call it. But like, it's of course like Gen Z of that time. Of that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm very happy I got married early because I always. Uh, wanted to get married or always wanted to have kids and um, I think it worked out pretty well so uh, no regrets there what is that dating advice or relationship advice you would like to give to Ananya Pandey you know as you know as you see that the there is a lot of exposure also you know uh, for a lot of us you know we do get diverted like okay ticket this is not working we keep on moving on and as you said it's right actually you know there's so many plethora of options also so if you had to give some advice to her also what would it be and why I think it's not about options. I think uh, uh, Ananya or any girl of today has to be very sure of what she wants. You know, uh, marriage is a huge commitment. And uh, I feel like you really need to understand this is what I want out of my life in a marriage. See, career is different, but marriage or personal relationship, if it is not working out for any reason, don't push it. Because you know what, don't let it affect you know you in any manner I just feel like you know if it's working out and it makes you happy then great and uh, if it doesn't it's fine you know you will I mean a, a right person will come at the right time and for everything there's a time they say you know and when the time is right it will happen till then just have fun I always say that have fun enjoy your life these years will never come back you know focus on work have friends, go out and do whatever you have to because you should not have any regret, regrets later in life. That's yeah. definitely true and you know, so many times as an actress also and as for Ananya Pandey, her performance is, you know, under the radar most of the times, you know, though she has done a fantabulous job in Kho Gai Ham Kaha, Gehraiya, Call Me Bay and even recently Control, like I've seen her movies and I've seen her evolving, you know, as an actress. Yeah. People really, you know, kind of scrutinize her, you know, for her performances. You know, there are so many trolls also which takes place. How do you take it, you know, and what is the suggestion you give it to her? See, I think she's a very intelligent girl. And um, uh, she has grown up in front of the cameras in a way because she was like, what, 18 when she joined the film industry. And I think she's doing very well. She's very proud of her journey because she's happy to, you know, own own up to her mistakes or anything that she's done in life and um, it's been a fantastic journey I've seen her work hard you know there have been days you know maybe she's not felt so good about you know the feedback but what I like about her is that she's taken the feedback in her stride and worked harder and you know her performances are doing the talking she has a long way to go she's working hard and um, you know God willing it'll only get better Coming to your married life, you know, especially because of mm. the Bollywood wife, uh, the connections, you know, which you have uh, built with, of course, with your partner. Chunky Pandey said that, you know, he was a Casanova before, you know, you entered his life and you really changed that. What is that one thing which you really felt that you changed in yourself when you got married to him? Uh, oh, change about myself. I thought you were going to say change about him because you cannot mm. change anybody. Your yeah. Change has to come from within. Mm. Um, with me, what has changed is I feel like I have, I mean, as you're saying, I'm Gen Z of that time. I was like, what? I started 
kind of like dating junkie when I was 22 and 23 we were married 24 when I was 24 and Anya was born mm -hmm. so I have spent more years of my life with him than even with my own parents so I feel like somewhere I have like kind of grown up with him matured with him he's been an excellent partner a very patient person um, and um, there's so much there's been so much of a personality growth I mean from 23 today I'm 50 hmm. I mean I have grown in all aspects so it's not like one particular change it's it's just changing as a human being from being a young girl to becoming a wife then becoming like a daughter-in-law sister-in-law then becoming a mother and um, it's just been like a journey of so many experiences I can't pinpoint one thing yeah, yeah. Grow growing from a girl it's literally becoming from a girl into a woman mm -hmm. as you grow older yeah i have to ask you this also you know ma'am you re recently also said this that you're an outsider and <laughs> karan Jor had to like kind of tell you that okay let's not get there because you can get trolled yeah, why do you feel so of course kind of you're outsider also. i was talking about the tape i mean it was like we were joking about things and i was talking about the five of us sitting there on the table at that moment i mean none of us whether it's gauri mahi Seema, Neelam, or me, none of us were born into full families. So I was laughing about that. I was like, each one of us was an outsider who's today an insider. Mm -hmm. And that's true. That's <laughs> true. And I have to ask you that, you know, as of course, you know, the show has progressed, even the actors who are making cameos, I'm making cameos actually, have also, you know, progressed. Like from Shah Rukh Khan to Ranveer Singh to now Saif Ali Khan, how safe was the bet? I should be saying, like, pun intended, Saif <laughs> was the bet. I got it. See, uh, all of them, whether it's been Shah Rukh or Ranveer, I mean, Shah Rukh, of course, you know, he knows us really, really well. But even Ranveer, he knows all of us and so does Seth. So I think it was great fun interacting with them, you know, on camera. We've always interacted off camera. So on camera was a lot of fun. And Seth is so cool. He's, uh, you know, he's, uh, he, he's so charming and he speaks so well. And um, it was great, and he always has these witty one-liners, which which they have integrated in the scene so beautifully. I mean, he actually summed up the show in a beautiful manner. A tale of two cities, you know, it's been going on forever. You know, polarized opinions, and um, you know that very versus Delhi versus Bombay. I think he he was the right person to do this scene with us. And I have to ask you, like, as we talk about Mumbai versus Delhi and, you know, me being from, you know, Mumbai, yeah. completely born and brought up over here, I feel like how they are is way too different as compared to, you know, Mumbai. If you had to highlight that one thing which is different in them versus, you know, in Mumbai, and one thing you really feel like, you know, kind of can connect. See, uh, I, I was born in Delhi, mm -hmm. then I moved to Bombay when I was like maybe in my, in the first grade or something, and I did my entire schooling in Bombay. Then I moved back to Delhi, I did my college there okay. and then I got married and moved back to Bombay. So I have kind of seen both cities at different, you know, age and stage in my life. Mm. Um, see, Delhi has um, beautiful homes, uh, very large hearted when they say, you know, uh, Dilwale, that is Delhi, you know, and they are great hosts. And um, um, I think that's what I felt about Delhi on a larger more general perspective, very large hearted, very hospitable and uh, Khatidari is another level with Bombay we are more like chilled out and relaxed and you know help yourselves kind of thing you know you know get a drink or you know last minute ordering something so I mean they, we do Khatidari also but most of the time it's casual I just find in Bombay there is more of a hustle and I find it a little more professional and I find Bombay very safe do you, don't you also feel that they give space? They don't really like, you know, get, they, they don't intrude people like, you know, in terms of their privacy and all, you know, I feel like that is there a lot in Bombay. No, I didn't feel that intrusion in uh, Delhi either. Yeah. I mean, never, you know, I've, I've spent so many years there. I have never felt that intrusion. I mean, I have some great friends there. I have my family there. I don't think I felt that. Yeah. No, no, no. No, absolutely not. And do, do you feel, do you justify this one debate which happens on social media that the food in Delhi is much better than, you know, Mumbai? Absolutely. I'm sorry, Bombay, but the food in Delhi, I love. I love the chole bhature. I love the butter chicken and so many other things, dal makhani and I don't know. 
Delhi food is and my mom's home food. I love it. Sarso ka saag, makki ki roti. There's so many things. I love the food in Delhi. Love it. But before I let you go, three seasons of Fabulous Lives versus Bollywood yeah. Wives. This time, actually, it's different. The name has been changed. If you had to venture apart from the, venture out, you know, apart from this show, would you prefer like you know trying to try a hand on acting as such? No, uh, definitely not acting. But a, a show of this kind of format, like maybe like you know a game show or like um, not really reality because this has been amazing. I wouldn't change anything. But but in th- these terms, like I can't act at all. I cannot. So something like maybe like a talk show. or um, or i said like a game show fun show something like that but not acting so i'm hoping next time when karan jor up you know like really approaches her it's not on a turbulent flight <laughs> but something else i'm sure and something else altogether but lovely chatting with you ma'am and it was lovely interviewing you and knowing more insight about you and your life as a wife bollywood wife thank you so much for a lovely time thank you samina lovely talking to you hi this is bhavna pande and you are watching me exclusively on zoom Thank <laughs> you.